Hi, I'm Sarah Barbett, and I'm a content producer with the Eastern Shore Virginia Tourism Commission. The Eastern Shore is a 70-mile peninsula that sits between the Chesapeake Bay and the Atlantic Ocean. The Eastern Shore is dotted with picturesque small towns that feature everything from kayaking adventures and boutique hotels to plenty of shopping and dining. The Eastern Shore boasts miles of coastline, untamed natural beauty, and an abundance of locally caught seafood. Come with me as we explore the Eastern Shore of Virginia. Visiting Saxis is like taking a step back in time and offers a glimpse into what life on the Eastern Shore was like in days gone by. Saxis is an island in name only, as it is only isolated from the mainland by this 5,000 acre nature preserve. The island is home to a museum and a wonderful restaurant. If you find yourself on Saxis Island on a Saturday morning, you can stop by the Saxis Island Museum, which aims to preserve the history of this community located on the bay side. Okay, so first off, can you explain to me why Saxis is called almost an island? <laughs> it's, it's isolated from the mainland by the uh, free school marsh out here. Okay. Uh, it's not, technically it's not an island, but it's pretty remote. <laughs> okay. Um, and so what is the sort of mission of the Saxis Island Museum? Uh, to preserve the history of the island, the, the, their way of life, uh, the schools, the, the watermen, the, the fire department, you know, everything about Saxis we want to preserve. Okay, great. Um, and why is the museum something that you think people visiting the Eastern Shore need to see? It's, it's a way of life that's, that's dying out on the eastern shore. But, you know, the small communities on the bay uh, where people primarily make their living off the, uh, off the water. It's, it's, it's a, a way of life that's fading out. And we want people to remember it. Martha's Kitchen is a gem on Saxis Island. In her tiny kitchen, Martha cooks up fresh seafood for the watermen who spend their mornings sitting around, sitting in her who spend their mornings sitting in her restaurant, drinking coffee and talking about the way that life is. Some of her customers are such regulars that they even have their names written on their chairs. If you're looking for a true local experience on Saxis Island, Martha's Kitchen is the place to be. So I've been here nine years and uh, yeah. he put his hey, well, in the yes. yes. Okay. Hey, yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
No trip to Shingadook is complete without a stop at the Island Creek Ring. This ice cream parlor was recently voted number one in America. They feature flavors such as cake batter, salted caramel, and rocket fuel, which is chocolate with a hint of spicy chili and cinnamon. Downtown Chincoteague is the perfect place to spend a few hours after hitting the beach. There's plenty of shopping and dining to be done. Bright Seafood is the perfect place to get dinner after spending a day on Chincoteague Island. This restaurant is situated right on the water and has beautiful views. They also serve up fresh seafood. If you're looking for a place to grab a dozen raw oysters, this is just the spot. And even better, if you're coming onto Shingatek Island first to watch a rocket launch, Wright's Restaurant has beautiful views.